So first up, we'll take the pot off. And we'll take the air cap off. Next up, we'll pull this fluid needle out. Make sure you put your spring aside, don't lose it. There's your fluid needle. And we grab our spanner, make sure you use a ring spanner on it. The guns come with one. You can't use that because it's the wrong size, but you can end up stripping that thread if you use an open ender and you slip off. So use a ring spanner, just a 10 mil. Take your fluid tip off. And then the air transfer. And finally, take this seal out. Try to keep this away from the thinners or your cleaning solvents because it can, can end up getting warped and you'll have to get a new one. So take care of all your parts and then we can take our little cleaner and poke away inside here. Give it a good clean. Just get some thinners in a tub and give it a good clean out and then that should just be about it for your gun. Most guns are the same as this. Now you can see there are other parts on this. That's where you adjust your spray fan. This is your trigger and your air and there is absolutely no need to take any of these parts off to clean it. I use these guns every day and they are still in great working order and there's no need to take these parts off. So here's the parts here. Then we'll just put it back together. Just the reverse order of the way we took it apart. Make sure when you put this on you can see there's this little cut out here, it'll only go on one way and you can just twist it around and you'll feel that it's sat in there. Next up, we're going with the fluid tip. You don't want it overly tight but it does have to be tight or else you won't uh, have a seal with your air. So just nip it up. Put the fluid needle back in. Don't forget your spring or else your trigger won't return. And back on with our air cup. There's our pot on and the gun's back to ready to be used again.